Shalom. Most sign Christ blessed. My name is Captain Joel of Israel United in Christ. Today we're going to unveil the mystery of the Shidis of India as well as the Shidis of Pakistan. There are many questions that our people ask globally concerning the oppression of black people worldwide. Tazina Kambrani, a member of the Seed Assembly and a Pakistan's first female MPA for the Sidi community stated, People of African descent are being oppressed world over. They are being dehumanized, but black people are also humans. And this cannot be stressed enough. Black people, including our communities who live in Pakistan, are being punished for an apparent sin we did not commit. We are being punished for our features, for the way we look, for the color of our skin. We are being punished for something we did not choose. When you read the book of Deuteronomy 28, the King James Version original Bible, it states, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments, and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Blacks globally, which have been scattered throughout the world through the Indian Ocean slave trade as well as the transatlantic slave trade, has suffered the curses of God, losing their identity, their culture, language, loved ones, have been the victims of oppression, racial injustice, and discrimination. As we progress through this series, you will see the Sidis of India as well as the Shidis of Pakistan fit the curses as the true biblical Israelites. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16, it states, Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. When you take a look into the history of the Sidis, they once ruled in the Shasin state, which is in Gujarat, India, having their own coat of arms, stamp paper, currency, and army. Today, the Sidis now reside in the forest or even live in impoverished conditions in Goa, Gujarat, Karnataka, Maastra, and Talagona, where they are discriminated against, also subjected to a lower caste system. Like the Sidis in India, the Shidis in Pakistan suffer the same fate. The Shidis in Pakistan, which inhabit the Sin, Karachi, and Balochistan, face color discrimination, unemployment, and are forced to live in the ghetto towns in the south of the city where drugs and armed businesses are rampant and are even many economic opportunities which leads to poverty, illiteracy, and takes hold of the residents. The Merriam Dictionary Definition of Ghetto A quarter of a city in which Jews were formerly required to live. This curse fits the so-called Sidis, Hafshis, and Kafirs of India and the Shidis of Pakistan today. Now let's take a look at curse in the fields. The Sidis and the Shidis of slavery were forced to pick up indigo, sugars, coconuts, cloves, pemba, and grain. Today, the Sidis that own their small plots of land work for an upper caste family as their main source of income, provided areca, nuts, as well as rice. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 17, it states, Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. The Sidis haven't experienced the wealth of India's economic boom, but it has suffered with high unemployment rates, usually earning a daily wage of 50 rupees a day, which equates to about 62 cents U.S. currency, even though they've been promised by India's government, guaranteeing them jobs and education. In Haggai chapter 1 verse 6, it says, You have sown much and bring in little. You eat but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to be put into a bag with holes. The Sidis and Shidi's businesses, access to farm equipment and boats for the fishing business have suffered because of the curses God placed upon them for the disobedience against his laws. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as a blind grope of the darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. The Sidis and Shidis, who are the children of Israel in the Bible, have been trying to find their true identity, but have been walking blindly while the truth of who they are sit right before their face. Even though the Sidis and the Shidis have assimilated into Indian and Pakistan culture, they speak their language, dress like them, and they have even practiced their religion the Sidis still do not prosper as a people. 
and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Even though the CDs have become a scheduled cast in 2019, and the CDs have been accepted in the Pakistani culture, they're still filled with violence, extreme discrimination, a lack of education, funding, and a lack of housing. Many CDs and CDs activists have tried to get funding, build schools, obtain government assistance, or even food, but have been unsuccessful. No one can save the CDs but the Black Messiah, Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 1 verse 68 Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies, and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Many women were raped during the tramps of Haran's slave trade, where Sidis and Shidis were taken from East Africa by Arab slave traders. In the book Black Holocaust, for beginners on page 33, it states, The availability, moreover, offer a Muslim man a measure of relief from the unhappiness of a marriage that was sexually ungratified before purchasing a slave whom he intended to use as a concubine, a Muslim man was careful to make sure that she was responsive to his amorous advances. This could be managed in a privacy of special stores that were set aside in the slave markets for those close examination of female slaves by prospective buyers. Here men would take liberties with these helpless women, girls, from 12 to 18 years old. In a manner they would not dream of when quarter a Muslim woman they wish to marry. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. The Sidis and Shidis, a Bantu people of Shemitic descent, were always known as the biblical Jews or the children of Israel according to the Bible. In a book, General History of Africa, Volume 5, from the 16th to 18th centuries, it states, Not far from Gujarat is Janjeda Island, which, in ancient times, was a part of the prosperous commercial activity of northwestern India, including what is today Bombay and the Kalkan Coast. If local traditions are to be believed, the Sidis of Janjira descended from the Africans who arrived from Gujarat in 1489. These were black Jews, descendants of African slaves who had left Koshin and Kerala in southern India. According to the scriptures, God said the Sidis and Shidis will be a byword, meaning to be called another nationality. Sidis and Shidis means a black Slave. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst, and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Because they broke God's commandments, the Sidis and Shidis will be on a bottom of society and would historically serve the Arabs in the sub-Saharan slave trade as well in India for food, water, and clothing. In the book, The Black Holocaust for Beginners, it states, The captives were forced to march all over the countryside as the Arab slavers gathered more captives. Young men, women, and children of all ages were bound by hand, either with hemp or leather, which grew tighter as time went on, and by neck yokes to each other and forced to walk for hundreds of miles through dense forests, savannas, mountains, and waterways. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. 
and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. The Siddhis and Shidis, according to biblical prophecies, will be scattered throughout India and Pakistan. There, they will be forced to accept Hinduism, worshiping multiple gods, Christianity, which is the wooden cross, and Islam, which represents the Kaaba stone. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, for bondmen and bondwoman, and no man shall buy you. Do the Cedis and Shidis fit this curse? Let's see. The Black Holocaust, page 40. Over the seven centuries, from 900 to 1600 AD, of the early Arab slave trade, Hundreds of thousands of Africans died of crossing the Indian Ocean between Tanganyika, Kenya, and Zanzibar. Arab slave ships carried 200 to 400 captive Arab Africans, jammed together either on an open deck or below the deck with no regard for sex or age, for sanitation or food quality. The trip could take one day to reach Zanzibar or it could take two weeks. Either way, there was not enough food and no health support. So the loss of African lives averaged about half of the original human cargo. So I'll say it again. So the loss of Israelite lives averaged about half of the original cargo. So you tell me, are the Sidis and Shidis of India and Pakistan just African slaves? Or are they the chosen people of God, the children of Israel?